Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome to a new episode of our Fixed Perspective Scroller. In this episode, I'm going to talk about the stats and attributes of our character. So we are going to set some of the game logic to calculate base damage and attack speed and all those things. So let's go to our script. Um, I have strength, vitality, agility, intelligence, dexterity and cunningness this is the build that the player can actually choose to edit so for example he can whenever he level up he can assign build points to the strength or vitality and based on the strength and all the factors we're going to calculate how much attack damage he can do and if it's going to affect in any way other stats like movement or anything else we are going to calculate that in game logic let me make this a little bit bigger. So the build will determine how our character behaves. And this is one of the main things I like from, from RPG games, that you can actually decide how your character will be, how, how it's going to attack or how it's going to be its fighting style. So I already made one to calculate the base damage. And I think this is just an example because of course you need to test this. Once you have all your formulas, you have to test them, you have to see the check the game balance and all of that. But for example, I want that the strength and the dexterity of my character affect the base damage. And how much damage we deal to enemies will depend on our base attack damage plus our weapon damage and maybe plus the armor penetration or the elemental types, all those things we will have to do it here in game logic. So I'm going to first calculate player base attack damage. So just create this function. It's going to return a float and actually this should be called base damage, right? So we are going to calculate the part of the damage that is based on strength and dexterity and what I do is that for each point of strength I have I'm going to add one to the base damage and for each 10 for each 10 strength points I have I'm going to add three more to my damage or we could do something different maybe 20 I don't know we need to test it to know so I'm going to start with three and then finally for every three dexterities dexterity points we have we are going to add one to the damage the damage the base damage of our character so how does this work where is math floor math floor just rounds down the to the closest integer so if i have player strength i'm saying okay for example i have 20 strength 20 divided by 10 is 2, and I'm going to multiply 2 by 3, so it's 6. So I have a 6 bonus attack damage. And if I have 25 strength, 25 divided by 10 is 2.5. And the nearest lower integer is 2, 2.52. 2. So I'm still going to get 2 times 3, which is 6. So this is to make sure that if the player won that bonus of attack damage, he needs to make sure to reach a multiple of 10 in the strength points of his build so we can do similar things to calculate the attack speed the movement speed and all those things so right now i just want to do this video regarding the base damage so i'm going to go to player controller we will have a function called set attack damage all right so set I mean, it's just going to be void set attack damage and this function is going to be called every time we change weapons or we receive a buff from other player or we eat some food that gives us uh, new stats every time the stats or or something in our inventory I mean equipment is changed we're going to set the attack damage because we want to make sure that if I change my weapon to a stronger one, we want to update the amount of damage we deal. Right now I don't have a weapon class, later we have to make a weapon class, 
but right now I'm just going to make a float integer I mean sorry a float variable called weapon damage all right so my attack damage is going to be like this attack damage is equals to um oh yeah game logic dot um calculate player base attack damage so we want to calculate our base damage and it's going to be um the parameter we need to give it this because if you realize game logic the parameter is just a player controller because we want to know which player base damage we're calculating so we're going to pass this class here the player controller we're going to give it to it so we can use our strength and our dexterity to determine how much is our damage this we need to add the weapon damage okay so it's going to be our base damage plus the weapon damage and we don't want to have buffs that increase our damage directly or maybe we do do we mm plus bonus damage okay so this is going to be for any buffs that we get that only increases our damage all right so uh, let's put it here in combat another float and actually we should make this um, public just for now because we want to set them in the inspector so only for now Later, we, we, we need to set them back to uh, private. So, public float bonus damage. This is like if we have an aura from a friend or we eat a food that increases our, our damage, we're going to set it in bonus damage. So, attack damage equals game logic, calculate place, base, attack damage. This plus weapon damage plus bonus damage. And we're going to run this on start set attack damage. We're going to call this on start. And every time we keep equip a weapon, every time we get a buff, every time we think we have the possibility to change our attack damage, we're going to call this function. All right. So now let's see if this actually works. Now, if I see my player controller, you will see we have the weapon damage, the bonus damage. I also need to make my strength and my dexterity. I'm going to make them totally public now. Oh, and by the way, this, whenever you make a public, a public variable and then you add this at the end, that means that we can get it publicly, so we can get it from any other class. But whenever we want to set the value of this variable, we need to set it from within this class. So this is very useful when you want to have things like, like these build points, these build stats. We just want to allow player controller to set the amount of vitality, strength, etc. So but right now I just comment that part so that I can adjust it from the inspector. And you will see we have strength and dexterity now. Our attack damage is 9 and if we press play it should go to 0 because our strength is 0, our dexterity is 0, and our weapon damage and bonus damage is 0. So if I attack the mummies they're not going to die okay? because we're dealing 0 damage. What I'm going to do now is just going to set some random stats so like 5 strength and 3 dexterity, our weapon damage can be 10 and we have no bonus damage because we have no buffs. So now if we go and actually you see the attack damage got calculated to 16. So now if I hit it a couple times, it died. It died, I think, faster than what we usually get. If I have 8 attack uh, strength, our attack damage is 19. If I have 9 strength, our attack damage is 20. So it just increased by 1. But once that we reach the multiple of 10 here once we reach that we will get some bonus damage you see we should be in 21 but actually we got three more for our bonus for every 10 strength 
And now we have a powerful attack that kills mummies every three attacks. And actually, if we had one more attack damage, we could kill the mummy with only two attacks. So let's give us a better weapon. Weapon damage is going to be 12. And now we play. You see we have 26 attack damage. Those mummies have 50 health. So I'm going to slash it and two hits and he's dead. So now that we have a variable attack damage, which will depend on our weapon damage our and our attack, I mean our strength and our dexterity, we can actually start planning builds. So when we start making more formulas to calculating accuracy and speed, attack speed and all those things, this is going to start being a actual game that we need to think to build our how to build our character and that will determine the performance we have in the game so uh, i think i probably will do a different formula to calculating range damage because i don't want that um a range like an archer can hit with melee weapons and make lots of damage so uh, we'll think of that but I'm going to update you guys when I make the rest of the formulas and I'm going to show them to you and and you can try to do your own meanwhile just do it do them here in game logic and see what factors you want your game to consider when you calculate the attack damage and how I uh, saying for example vitality will determine your your health your total health and maybe your defense or something like that and defense can also count just like uh, attack damage also counts the weapon damage your defense should also consider the amount of defense that your armor has and tetra so go try it do your own formulas tell me how it goes if you have any question please let me know in the comments thank you very much for watching i quite enjoyed making this video and i will see you next time Goodbye, peace. Psh One less to go.